So, you want more spindle spun adventures? Well, you are going to get more spindle spun adventures. On December 1st, Andrea Mari and their friends started a 100 days of spindle spinning challenge. And you guys have been coming for me in my Instagram DMs. You know who you are. Now, while 100 days at first glance seems a bit excessive to my chaos brain, I'm going to first try and see if I can get 30 days of spindle spinning in and then we'll see where we go from there. The first thing I'm going to do is empty my spindles from the projects that were already on there. And then I want to tackle this. This is all the fluff that we have dyed in 2023. Quite a mountain, right? Let's get to it. Let's make actually some kind of advent calendar for ourselves. Let's make some very colorful, very bright bird's nests that we can spin over this cold dark month of December. I know of course spindles are not the high production yielding tools and I have this mountain. I'm not going to spin all of this on my spindles. There will be some separate videos probably in the future where I will use some of this but as I don't have real specific projects in mind for whatever I have died last year why not just have some fun with it? Personally I like with whatever type of spinning I do worsted prep so combed fibers the most so let's do that let's make some blended bird's nests of all kind blending is of course most commonly done on a drum carder hand carders or a blending board but I find it just as easy on combs and then I get the desired prep three different shades of coatiness. I of course did not make an actual dent in my stash of dyed fluffs but this heap over here is looking really fun and I'd much rather be spinning. Now that's a quote I want somewhere in my office. And also just for funsies I threw the comb ends on my drum carter and I already did a little bit of drop spinning to see how that would look like. Pretty gorge darn gorgeous if you ask me. So yeah I'm going to do some drop spinning as well. I've started with a green one because I'm seeing a lot of yellow in my future. <laughs> and you know, I said that 100 days of spinning sounded a little bit excessive to my Chaos Goblin brain, but the other side of my Chaos Goblin brain is also thinking spindle, sweater spin? But this heap of fluffs like makes me inspired to make one of those you know scrap knit sweaters but then just all different fluffs of spindle spun mini skeins i completely forgot to mention yesterday that i actually already emptied this spindle and here is our little skein it's made with scraps because that is my toxic trait I would rather spin scraps and like make randomly blended stuff than actually use up the good stuff even though I have 50 kilograms of good stuff. So before we start with our very fanciful and exciting new fluff, so let's, let's first finish this spin. Maybe also because I want to use my support spindle for some of that. And maybe ooh, tilt the camera a little bit. I bought a spindle, uh, by the way, I have not told you, on my very first fiber festival. I went to Dag van de Wol, so Day of the Wool, uh, in the Netherlands on October 7th, the very first fiber festival I attended, and I grabbed me this beautiful hand 
turned hand carved support spindle and I must say maybe it is because I already had quite a bit of spindle spinning practice but the learning curve on this one was not as steep as with my in-hand class spindles. This um, went pretty good right from the start. I might have gone a little bit overboard with this second cup. Let's see when we get to the plying. Yesterday I was mentally completely spent. So I chose to do some, I wouldn't say mindless, but at least easy drop spindle spinning to ease my mind and now that my mental faculties have sufficiently recovered I can go back to the support spindling and I will fulfill a request today. I have had a couple of questions under videos but also in Instagram DMs with the question can you explain how you would ply on a spindle? We are in the plying phase, so if you're hearing weird noises, my husband is making Sinterklaas fudge, because today is December 6th. It is St. Nicholas Day. And St. Nicholas Day means a lot of candy, so he's working up all the candy into one nice little dessert. Anyway, let's get to the plying. So when I spun the, the singles, I spun them clockwise and now I'm going to ply them counterclockwise. Plying is just plying, but maybe that is not what the questions were. But how do you manage the singles? In a previous video I have made a plying ball, so that means winding the two singles together in a ball. But for this time I tried something else. I put uh, one cup on a skewer and one cup on a knitting needle. The skewer is a nice way, the knitting needle is um, too slippery so I'm getting yarn barf and I'm telling you normal yarn barf is very unlikable but spindle spun single yarn barf oh my god it's the worst it's the worst <laughs> so yet again this shows you can ask me to explain stuff that I do but I'm just a beginner like you as well I'm just trying stuff it's like that's my secret I just try stuff. I'm not afraid to do this. I'm just, I just go. My brain is chaos and it says, go, do the thing. I'm doing very awkward stuff. I'm vlogging outside and there is actual people here. <laughs> no. But that's not the only exciting thing we're doing today. No, 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 no. Last month here in Hasselt, a... Oh, look over here. <laughs> that's my friends, Mary and Jesus and Joseph. You know? <laughs> anyway, um, here in Hasselt last month, for the very first time, a crafting group got together. I was still in Spain at the time, but now that I'm back, we are going to craft. I'm very excited for this. So, um, let's go. I also just realized I'm filming this in a very Christmassy atmosphere, but of course when you are seeing this, it's already New Year. Oh my god, friends, Happy New Year!
You know, I'm actually quite the introverted person, but with the right crowd. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm actually saying or if this is at all interesting to you, but uh, I'm now walking back to my car. See you tomorrow. And before we do our 15 minutes of spindle spinning, I think there is something you all are dying to see, aren't you? It's the Sinterklaas fudge my husband made. So it's spiculaas, white chocolate fudge, black chocolate fudge, more spiculaas, and then marzipan. It also looks like there is already a big chunk eaten, but that's a lie. I filled this tub with it to, uh, to give to my mom and sister. Here you go. I knew that you were very, very curious about this. And while I was at the crafting gathering yesterday, I... Well, I wouldn't say I filled up my spindle, but I finished the bird's nest. I'm going to do a second bird's nest on a second spindle, make a plying ball, and now we have, I don't know, a fun barber pole two-toned yarn. I think these two will look real neat together. What, what do you say? Is this a good color combination? It sparks joy and that's what I'm needing right now. Now I say that I need joy right now, not because I am sad or anything, um, but I'm, I've, I don't know, worked through my spoons or I should say, going to the crafting get-together while exciting and real fun. I like spent all my spoons for today already, so I was not a functioning human at work today. And that coincided with it being a very stressful day. So I have been looking forward all day to this little moment of spinning and choosing a very bright fiber to do so. That was my 15 minutes for the day. See you tomorrow. I just had a pre-Christmas party with my friends and I'm uh, but you probably still want to see me spin today right like I have to do this every day I can't skip a day because I'm tired that's not how this works also yesterday was a can't stop won't stop spinning day and we have gone from one finished mini skein to five. I'm not going to repeat that today. I think that like now before I go to bed, I might do a couple of minutes of drop spindle spinning just to ease in sleepy time because it is 10 past 11 in the evening now. Friends, as you just saw yesterday's spin, that wasn't it. Um, I think 
I saw when I was making the plying bracelet that my single like came undone but like this uh, on me so I think uh, that when I was spinning the single that I might have changed directions quite a couple of times and didn't consistently spin in one direction which is like not even a rookie mistake like this is the, that's how I am going to go with the answer overwhelmed the brain it sounds right it just sounds right because I did the drop spindle spinning when I felt overwhelmed and wanted to do something easy uh, well it wasn't easy enough it seems it is today once again late past my bedtime but I still wanted to get some spinning in um, 100 days of spinning is uh, a great idea in a vacuum but I'm having some practical issues with it time is not limitless apparently and a real nice Flemish sheep that is easy to draft a good rhythm to unwind for the day my forehead is very luminous before I go and start editing videos forget what time it is first we are going to spin um, I'm going to learn from previous evenings where I do all the stuff forget the time and then be like "Ooh, I need to sleep but I also need to spin we're prioritizing the spinning today no actually we're prioritizing the sleep today so that I can go to sleep at a normal hour <laughs> first we do the spinning and what I want to do right now is on Saturday I spun this single of Shangora and I also have this left over from my support spindle skein kiss while your lips are still red that's for the Nightwish fans let's make a little plying ball out of these two I hope the uh, Shangora single doesn't completely disintegrate on me because it might um, it's very short staple length like two three centimeters um, at max so that needs a lot of twist I did take my fast brr, brr, brr spindle for it um, I don't know if that's enough I have um, only spun Shangora on my double drive it's a double drive wheel my double drive wheel I've only spun Shangora on my double drive wheel but as of now we're this far in the plying ball Shangora has yet to come apart on me uh, but I'm facing a different problem my my other single the wool single that I'm going to ply it with might not be enough I am thinking that I might add the yellow that I was spinning yesterday Okay, this yarn is bonkers. Ah, come on, will you just focus? Ah, this is so much fun. Proof that I actually do know how to ply on a spindle. And it's so fun. What's life without a little bit of experimenting with Changora? Anyway, I'm going to edit some videos for you guys now. See you tomorrow. Boop. Hi. My husband has been away for the week. I am right now in the parking lot at the train station uh, waiting for him to come back home. So yeah, what to do when you wait? Spin some more.
how dare this cane look this good? I just finished plying the two skeins that you saw me spin over. No, it's the two singles. It's their singles. I just finished plying the two singles that you saw me spun over the last two days. And who gave this skein the right to look this pretty? It was probably me, but I don't remember it. I'm sorry. You okay? You okay? <laughs> so it seems like I have kind of neglected talking to you. So I'm double sorry. I have this on my spindle right now, but more importantly, this many skeins already? Although we're not talking about this one. This is a skein that must not be named. But these. It's like already another Edge of Twilight had amount of yarn. Today is day 20. Let's go. Day 21, and we have got another flying ball done. I'm having quite a lot of fun combining all the different colors and seeing how they look at the end. It is December 22nd, and we shall have to pivot our plans because I have worked my neck into a blockade. The pivoting shall consist of doing some drop spindle spinning as I don't have to lift my arms above my shoulders that way. You know, I've been drafting like this the entire time and now my neck is... I still have to come to terms with the fact that this body is no longer 29 years old and I can't just do all the crafting shenanigans that I want anymore. So, at least this gives me a chance to take revenge on my last drop spindle spinning, you know, this cane that must not be named. Mis amigos, amigas and bandidas, um, I have a confession to make. Today is actually the 25th of December, which means, yeah, I, um, I did not spin on the 24th. But anyway, it is Christmas, you are going to forgive me, it's not about the numbers anyway. Um, it is Christmas, I also quickly want to show you some Suri alpaca yarn that I got from my husband. Mm. Mm. Did you get anything fiber related this Christmas? Let me know. And to make up for yesterday's loss, let's spin! Let's spin! I need to not raise my shoulders this high because it's not good for the blockade that is still being very pesky in my neck. <laughs> I 
Now I find I actually had quite a good reason to not spin yesterday and that is that my parents-in-law came over and I had been, well I have been in the kitchen most of the day. You will be happy to hear that they did enjoy my food very much. And on Christmas Day, we have redeemed ourselves in drop spindle spinning. I knew I still got it! Now to prove to you. So as you noticed yesterday, I transferred back to support spindle spinning because actually no reason, I just wanted to. Is the blockade in my neck completely gone? No, but I am willing to risk it for a biscuit. And now for all of your education and entertainment, here am I showing how I start support spindle spinning without a leader yarn. I just twist or, well, spin the fiber between my fingers so that I have a start, a bit of a single, tie it around my spindle and try to get it going. It doesn't always work from the very first time, but it works. It is magical. Good morning, friends. It is December 31st. It is New Year's Eve. Or, well, it's not Eve, it's New Year's Eve morning. Which means that the scope of this video, my, well, my month of spinning every day, is coming to an end. So in 31 days, we have created, if I'm still able to count correctly, 16 mini skeins of differing colors. But they are, however, complementary, um, is that the right word? They fit together really well because they're all in the yellowish region. As I said in the beginning of the video, at first I thought 100 days was a little bit excessive, but now that I'm looking at these 16 mini skeins, that's not enough for what I want to accomplish with this spindle spun yarn. So, well, naturally, we will have to continue this series. There are some really fun skeins in there. I must, however, admit, uh, in contrary to my previous spindle spinning exercising video, I do not see much of a progress that I made. Like this was the first one, um, and this is the last one, and they're both on a support spindle. Yeah, they're looking both equally as consistent. I have reached my peak of spindle spinning? I don't know, maybe. Before I started this endeavor, I had the idea of maybe doing it in a sort of vlogmas-like format. But I'm, I'm actually glad that I did not do that, because it's really hard to think about stuff to talk about every day for a month. Like, I'm not that interesting. So as you have noticed, there are a couple of days where I just 
only have video and no audio. So if you'd like to see me continue this series of the 100 day spindle spinning challenge, then maybe you could help me with that by suggesting topics in the comments where I can talk about in January and February. Because 100 days, we only did one third of it now. One third. Are you grasping that? Oh, I'm not grasping that. That's more than 60 days. Ugh. Will my body be able to do that? That is another question. Because I have ventured to grabbing my um, enhanced spindle, my class spindle again. It is only a matter of time before my muscle will <coughs> again. You know, looking at this box, it really makes me excited for um, knitting something wearable with this. Like I said a, that I wanted a sweater quantity. I mean, a sweater quantity of this. How epic will that look? I'm not sure what pattern I would, I would use. I was browsing my vintage magazines uh, the other day and I'm still not really um, bought on any pattern yet. If you have suggestions for that, they're also welcome in the comment section. And well, the elephant in the room is time. You know, time is, this has taught me that there is so little time in a day. Carving out 15 minutes to spin on a spindle is sometimes really difficult. But I think it's really helpful to prioritize crafting that way so that your day isn't just only filled with things from the workday and chores. Anyway, guys, it is the 21st, so that means 2023 is ending. I am wishing you a happy, merry 2024, which will be, I don't know, already two weeks in swing when you see this. Here's to more adventures. Maybe a small recap as we have spun these 16 mini skeins over the course of the month of December. So that's almost one skein per two days. Can we keep up the pace? Happy New Year, my guys, my gals, my non-binary pals. It is January 1st, 2024. However, when you're seeing this, it's probably like February or something, but still a happy new year. New Year's resolutions, maybe? Uh, craft more. That, that's number one priority on the list. Every year, craft more. And you know, a 100 days spindle spinning challenge is just the way to keep us focused on our New Year's resolutions, right? Let's continue this series, shall we, with actually day 32 or day 31, if you want to discount um, Christmas Eve. But another New Year's resolution is also to be more mild, more kind to myself. So it could be that I might skip a few more days than I did in December. For me personally, right now, I did the entirety of December. I'm quite proud of it. Um, but my goal right now is more having a sweater quantity of yarn rather than actually spinning the 100 days consecutively. It's a great framework to achieve my sweater quantity of spindle spun yarn, that's for sure. But I'm not going to be very rigid about it. I'm not going to punish myself if I not spin a day. I hope you won't either. Anyway, January 1st, we're not going to skip January 1st. As you see, we're going to spin.
I didn't film it. So you will have to blindly believe me on my word, but yesterday I finished the bird's nest on this spindle. As it was Epiphany, um, I prioritized spending quality time with my family over putting on the camera and I am 100% sure that you will forgive me for that. Let's make the second single so we can ply them together and make one beautiful mini skein of yarn. I went up until now, but I know it's only day seven. Um, my shoulder and my neck aren't playing up again. So that's great. That's fantastic even, I would say. I know that some of you over on Instagram are also participating in the 100 days of spindle spinning challenge. Uh, how is it going for you thus far? Oh, oh my God. I hope better than this. You know, my um, December vlog of this challenge hasn't been published yet as of today. So I still don't have any help from you guys um, in possible topics to talk about. So. No, this is hard. I mean, I just want to spin the thing, um, but uh, that's probably boring as hell. I mean, that's probably boring as hell for you to watch, not for me to do. Spinning is um, literally never boring. Hi, it's January 9th and yes, my Christmas tree is still standing. Why isn't yours? Anyway. I'm just checking in to tell you that I have finished plying the two singles that I have spun over the course of January so far. Um, 16 skeins in January seems a bit far-fetched now that I only have one skein done on January 9th, but this is... Uh, my spindle almost can't handle it. Beyonce would be able to handle it, she can handle it, but my spindle can't. So, you know, that kind of makes up for me taking nine days to make it. The first spindle span skein of 2024. If you thought women could do, do things at the same time, I can apparently not cook and spin at the same time. So, day 14, eh? Which means we're already halfway January now. Going good, going good. I have been maybe a little bit absent in filming um, the past couple of days, but I have been sick. I had the flu and stomach flu and the UTI and... I'm sorry, this was probably too much information now you know, I was feeling like hell, <laughs> but I'm better now. Still have a little bit of a sore throat, but we're managing, we're managing, not managing the spindle. It's like whenever the yarn gets a little bit too thick, it just does that. And I am frustrated by it. 
I am not going to hide it. This frustrates me. Speaking of managing, you may notice a red substance next to me. Uh, this is a future project because, of course, if I have to, well, I don't have to, but if I want to put out a video every week, then I am most certainly working on multiple projects at the same time. Just for very practical reasons, I cannot be a monogamous crafter. So right now, I am working next to this 100 day spindle spinning challenge project, also already on to knitting projects for videos that you may or may not have already watched. I try when I plan for my content to Come on, God damn it! I had such a frustrating hour making videos for the history hikers, and now the spinning is also not working. Oh my God! I just want to throw everything at the wall. I try whenever I'm planning my content to have both like bigger and smaller projects, so that I can work multiple days or multiple weeks on one, but also have some small projects to intersperse and to actually have a video every week especially when you're sick and actually everything you just want to do at that moment is lie down in the sofa and relax and be semi-dead. It is a small moment before I have to go to work, but I'll show you. Yesterday I finished the second skein. And I also started on the third one. This is the first single and I'm going to pair it with some bright, bright yellow. Oh, I'm, so st I'm still having quite the morning voice and the morning head, but uh, getting an early start. Hi, um, it is snowing in Belgium. I know this is quite a rare occasion. I think it's the first time in 10 years that we actually got like 10 centimeters of snow in a day. For a lot of you guys, that's probably peanuts, but here it is rather rare. And as, I, as you see, I'm being thoroughly snowed upon. Um, but all my handspun garments are keeping me warm and dry. Wearing a handspun hat, handspun scarf, handspun gloves. Yeah, you know, to survive winters like this, let's spin some more. back in Hasselt and that can only mean one thing yes 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 we are going crafting again just like last month um, I am wearing my uh, silly pixie hood just because I have this um, habit whenever I finish something I just want to um, show it to the world however silly it might be and so uh, I finished this this morning you will have seen that video, I think, last week. Um, I can test, well, attest to the fact that it is quite warm. 
um, because right now it's a snowy day. Anyway, let's go crafting. been ramping up a bit of speed it seems took me more days to finish one skein than it took me now to almost finish three more skeins because this is the second single of our fourth mini skein yesterday during the craft get together I started and finished the first and I started and I'm almost finished with the second almost like a proverbial diesel engine even though I was going pretty strong in December so I don't know what happened in the beginning of January yeah it's about the quality not the quantity even though the quality probably isn't all that great either but you know chaos goblin chaos goblins that's, that's just a fact also speaking of goblin outfit check Yesterday I, I uh, got this skirt at the secondhand vintage shop and could it be more goblin core? I mean, it could, but I probably wouldn't be able to find it for four euros. It has these antler buttons, leave, deer. It's from Hammerschmidt Sportive Trachtenmode and their wool skirts go for like 200 to 300 euros on the website four i paid four this makes my inner goblin so happy It is the 21st of January 2024, which means that we have been spinning on this 100 days spindle spinning challenge for over 50 days. We're over halfway and we're also through our first batch of bird's nests. So we're going to make some more. Did I actually tell you about the wool we're spinning? Because we're spinning two different types of wool or well not well two different breeds of sheep this one over here i'm going to show you the visual differences between them because it will make a lot clear for you guys about the breeds this over here is flemish sheep you know the breed that i spin most often and this Is Belgian milk sheep which as you can see or especially over here especially over here has a very very fine crimp the crimp on this is not as fine but this is a very luscious I don't know they're both feeling super soft but this is a different kind of softness like I would wear both against my skin but um, uh, as is evident from a lot of my videos i'm not very sensitive to what other people might find itchy yarn because um, the micron for this sheep or well this not this particular sheep but this breed and then a bit of fluff that i had was tested at 27 microns i don't know about Bel belgian milk sheep i would say just by visually comparing the two it might be a little bit finer it's also logic because the crimp is finer, um, finer microns mostly have finer crimp. 
But it is funny because Belgian milk sheep is a breed that was made by just mixing all of Belgian's milk sheep, Belgian milk sheep, in which there was Flemish sheep. So this is like an ancestor of this. But it is of course also the case that in Belgium the sheep aren't necessarily bred for their wool anymore. Uh, that's mostly secondary or like third, a tertiary, 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 a tertiary means of the sheep. Uh, the sheep of whom I use the wool are just grazers, they're grazing. Um, they're grazing a nature reserve, that, that's their primary function. And then, well, they need to be shorn every year and then there is wool. It is maybe also important to note, especially for this very fine crimp wool that I'm working with, that some of the sheep in the flock are crossbred with merino. So that could also be uh, why some of the Belgian sheep fleeces are looking like this. And it's maybe not a char characteristic of the sheep itself. I should have something like the fleece and fiber source book, but I don't yet, emphasis on yet. So I don't know whether this is a characteristic of the Belgian milk sheep itself or because it was crossbred with a merino. So I don't know if I was entirely clear about my wool, but what I was trying to say is I am working both with Flemish sheep and Belgian milk sheep, but it is not the case that they are being actively crossbred with merino. It is the case that some of them have a merino ancestor and that can come up in the wool more prominently with some sheep as with others. Um, I think this is also a Belgian milk sheep. As you can see, it is. It doesn't look like this sheep just put a waffle iron on their wool in the 90s, but it's a lot less curlier, crimpier than the Flemish sheep. So I'm trying to say, I don't, you know, you guys oftentimes ask me very technical questions, but I'm a chaos goblin, so it is all your own fault that I'm giving these chaotic answers. <laughs> Live with it. Okay, I've got another box full. I think that is uh, plenty to continue for the rest of January and hopefully also February. I just tried to carry too much inside at the same time and it is it has it is I'm gutted to say that I dropped my spinning ball I'm going to try and see if this works if I can fix it in any way oh, this is making me incredibly sad So it's been a couple of hours. My bowl feels pretty sturdy again, but there is of course only one way to know is by actually testing it. Bad lighting is my part, but um, I only have a couple of minutes before work because I have this event I have to take pictures for my work for and that's probably going to last until 10 or 11 o'clock this evening. So the only moment I have to spin today is like these five minutes of time before I have to leave to work. 
Let's take full advantage of those and stop babbling. Or babble and spin at the same time. While I was combing my uh, extra fiber a couple of days ago, I was simultaneously looking at a video from Stitches and Starlight about how she cards her fiber and that made me inspired to triple card, like really diligently card the comb ends, like the weights of all my of all the combing. Um, and goddamn, this is some deliciously prepped fiber. Since it is like scrap wool, waste wool, it is quite a textured prep, but it's going really, really smooth. I like it. Now that you are all set up and ready, I'm going to get set up and ready as well. <sighs> See you in a minute. I know I'm suffering from this terrible condition called helmet head. Symptoms are a red line on your forehead and very fluffy, untamed hair. Anyway, it's January 31st the second month of our 100 days spindle spinning challenge is over. Now, you will have gathered from seeing the previous how many minutes that I have not been as prolific as I was in December. We have, as of now, six finished mini skeins. That's 10 less than last time. But, um, you know, eh. They're all still in the same yellow tonal range, going to fit quite nicely. I do have an idea in mind of what I want to make, so um, stay tuned for that. That will probably be something in March, I guess. Next to these six finished mini skeins, I also have still two singles on two spindles. Um, am I going to count them as a seven skein? Do we have seven skeins finished? No, we don't. I mean, six and a half, let's say six and a half skeins. The main thing I am over the moon excited about is the fact that my spinning ball isn't completely broken. You have seen this vlog that, especially at the end, I have been support spindle spinning only just because I am so happy that I still have my ball. You know, small moments of happiness. <laughs> two months, that means that two thirds give or take, of our challenge is done. On my last vlog, someone asked if maybe the first 30 days are the hardest. The quantity of finished yarns shows that I actually had more difficulty spinning this month in January. But on the other hand, I found more joy in just being myself in front of the camera, keeping it real, being authentic. Like, I don't know if you like it, but I had fun doing it. Um, I think a lot more than the previous month. I felt a lot less awkward, a lot less like, ah, I don't know what to say. You know, it doesn't matter what I say or if I say anything at all. This is just a chaos vlog. I can be my chaos goblin self. And I think you will appreciate it that I do. 
My prediction for February, however, is that I'm probably going to spin even less as the busiest time of year is coming for my day job. I have quite a lot of days already in my agenda that I will have to work in the evening or like an entire weekend. I hope this also doesn't interfere with my other regularly scheduled videos, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, it's just the way it is. It will happen the way it will happen. Is it February already? Huh. Jeez, it doesn't really feel like I have been spinning for over 60 days already. Nor does it. So a warm welcome friends to part three of our 100 days spindle spinning challenge. Whee! There is a rodent in the studio. I can hear it. We shall not be deterred by a mouse. <laughs> anyway, February. Over the months of December and January, we have spun 22 mini skeins and we will add to this collection until we get a sweater quantity of spindle spun yarn. That is the objective. That is my goal for this 100 day spindle spinning challenge. And it's looking quite good so far. Another thing that happened like literally overnight, like literally this night, we are now a community of 3000 people strong. Yeah. This is how much speech you have given me left. None of it. Speechless. Oh, 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 what's this? Is our cop coming loose? February, you trickster. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared that the mouse is like eating into my fiber stash. I'm going to check it out. See you in a minute. I don't think it's my fiber stash that the mouse is interested in, but it's my stash of um, chestnuts that I was drying on this lid. Yep, yep, they're being eaten up. There is like small bits and pieces everywhere. Mouse, I want to make soap with this. That's why I'm drying them, silly mouse. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video about making soap with chestnuts. It will be somewhere over there. I am doing the very good YouTuber thing. Anyway, I um, need to safeguard my chestnuts, I think. So, you guys are interested in hearing more about Belgium and Belgian culture. I don't know if this is specifically Belgian, but today is candle mass and traditionally we make pancakes on candle mass. There are quite a bit of folkloric tales of why this is. Uh, one saying that the shape of a pancake reminds us of the light of Christ or maybe just of the light of the sun and it's a pagan ritual celebrating that the sun is coming back. Could be either, could be both, I don't know. Anyway, there is a saying Geen vrouwke zo arm of ze maakt met licht misser panneke warm which literally translates to There is not a woman too poor to heat up her pancake pan on Candlemas. Let's make pancakes! You would probably call these crepes, however, um, but they're, they're pancakes. February 6th already. Time is flying by and I seem to have spun 
not at all that much. But I also slightly have a feeling that I've lost my spinning mojo, you could say, like for the last couple of days. I've just not been feeling like it. And not only spindle spinning, like I'm also spinning on my wheel over there. Um, but that's like a um, commercially prepped, combed merino top. I'm not just, just not feeling it. Same, actually same with the spindle spinning. I'm just not feeling it right now. I mean, that happens. And well, I have pledged to myself that I will be candid and authentic with you guys. So I'm just telling you right now that mm, I'm, I'm really not feeling like spinning lately. So, well, I'm, I'm doing it, but it could bring me more joy than it is right now. How do you combat a loss of spinning mojo? Let me know. Morning everyone, as today is yet again another rainy day. It literally has been raining from October until now, except for the three days that we had snow. My garden is an actual swamp. I am not going to work by bike because I would be soaked. Uh, so I have a little bit extra time this morning. In the comments under yesterday's video, someone asked, what I would do if I won the lottery. I would give up my day job and work full time on this. And probably also, it's a dream of my husband and I. We would relocate to France, somewhere in the mountains where there is a lot of castles, probably Alsace, Ardèche or Corbière. But mostly just the, the ability to be able to spend full time on all the fiber lovely goodness. That, that would be the, the main thing if I ever won the lottery. But I don't play the lottery, so I will never win it. The only thing I can hope for is to win the YouTube algorithm lottery. <laughs> but since right now I've won neither, let's prep and get to work. Sometimes I really wonder whether I am stupid or my brain just makes me want to believe that. Because today is Friday. I have just returned from work and I have realized that I have forgotten my SD card at work. So I cannot film with my camera this weekend unless I go back to the office and get my card. I don't want to go to the office in the weekends. Meh. It's Friday, which also means that I will be going to uh, Art Academy later. Mm. I don't trust the sturdiness of my spinning bowl to take my um, support spindle spinning kit with me to my mom's house. I'm going to take my clasp in hand spindle for that. Let's do that. Um, I'll also show you right now. Just for a second because we're talking anyway so why not uh, what i'm making over at art school i am uh, making a series of paintings like this and it is dries doing a striptease uh, the theme was inside out and i made pictures of him taking his sweater off inside out but yeah dries doing a striptease because why not saucy art is best art um, next time you will see me, I'll be at my mom's spinning, I hope. Ah. Card has been retrieved. I am aware that it is Tuesday and that makes my frantic going to fetch my SD card on Saturday a little bit funny and maybe ironic but here's the thing it's not because you didn't see me work on this video that I didn't work on another video last week's video was an entire Sundays of doing and also um, <clears throat> I'm going to be just honest with you about this I find it awkward to talk to you guys and film my spindle spinning vlog 
whenever my husband is here. Maybe awkward is not the right word, but I just want to cuddle with him up in the sofa and not... I mean, I love you guys, but sometimes you are the third wheel. <laughs> so sorry. Um, we will continue the spinning now. Uh, get over here. Got this last bit of fluff and then this uh, bird's nest is finished too. As today is not only Valentine's Day, but also Ash Wednesday, start of Lent, important question. Why did my arm break? That of course has nothing to do with the start of Lent, but this question has. Christians in my audience, what does your priest usually do for Ash Wednesday? Do they like actually make a cross with the ashes? Or do they go the uh, Eastern route like they do uh, in my parish and sprinkle the ashes over your head? Personally, I wish that they would do the cross on the face. Because I have a very, <laughs> very sensitive uh, skin on my head, um, like seborrheic eczema even, keeps on breaking. I can't tell my story if my yarn keeps breaking. Anyway, so I have a very sensitive skin on my head, seborrheic eczema and all that shazam. So Ash Wednesday is like surefire way, one way ticket to scratch city. So the moment I get home, I get into the shower, wash my hair, get all those ashes off of me. I mean, I know. I have to commemorate that I am dust and will return to death. Dust. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, you know, all that shazam, but it's giving me the itch. And then today it actually was a different priest than we normally have. So I was like, oh, maybe he will do it, uh, the cross on my face and not sprinkle all the thing in my hair. No, still sprinkled, still sprinkled. Okay, now, now we've gotten to a part where my single doesn't want to snap. I just think like the final bit I might have been a little bit disengaged with the spinning. Not really looking at what I'm doing and I did underspin. Not give enough twists to the single. Probably something like that. I don't know. What do I look like? An expert? The third mini skein of February! Oh, um, I am seeing a pattern for the month of February. These are actually pretty semi-solid skeins. They're not as, you know, randomly mixed together as the skeins I made in December and January. Maybe that, that's good for some contrast in the eventual project I will make with them. Anyway, 14th of February, three skates. Yeah, I'm taking it slowly both in January and February, but that's okay. That's okay. It is the third Thursday of the month. We are in the city. You know what's going to happen, right? Let's get crafty. I have a package. In this package is a spindle. And not just any spindle. This is a spindle made by one of my patrons, Alex. He made a couple and then suggested in our Discord group, well, you know, I can send some to people that want. And now 
some of his spindles have reached far ends of the world, like Belgium and Germany. I thought, let's do the good YouTuber thing and open this together. Uh, but I d don't have patience, so I already peeked inside. Which makes me even more excited to share this with you. So, this is the spindle itself. Need a little spindle stick and a small bobbin. Hey. Stay. With two extra bobbins, so you can switch them out like on a wheel. Ingenious! I might have also mentioned to Alex that my favorite colors were orange, green and yellow. So now we have orange, green and yellow bobbins, thank you. <laughs> a little bit of orange loop to fit. Nice. I hope I'm not the only one that just goes straight to the face with every bit of fluff that they touch. And then there's an envelope as well. And some butterflies. And I'm dropping everything. He ends with, I hope to see the spindle in your videos once well. Here we are. Here. We are. I'm going to fetch my bowl and, and immediately test this. It has a nice speed. Very comparable to the sports spindle that I am used to using. That little bit of fluff fit perfectly on the little bobbin. So of course the downside, you can only fill the spindle with as much fluff as the bobbin will allow, but doesn't this just look cute? Anyway, I have switched to a different spindle. I'm going to fetch some of my own fluff, probably yellow, because uh, why not? And then I will apply them together. And then this fluff will also get used in the final ultimate project with um, spindle spun yarn. And now while we do that, just a little shout out to my Discord community. You guys are awesome. I feel it personally as an enrichment to my life to hear all their stories. I, of course, warmly invite you to join the Patreon, to experience it for yourself, because of course I am a content creator, I'm going to plug myself everywhere I can. But it's just lovely. Just like the spindle, I feel it's even lovelier with my own fiber. A question for European spindle spinners, and maybe more specifically, EU spindle spinners. Where can I find like support spindles on the internet or in shops? Because I have found great many a joy in the support spindle spinning over this 100 days of spindle spinning challenge. And I love this one. I love the one I have from Something Else by Else Marie. But they're both Tibetan styles. And I would like to diversify my spindle collection a little bit, but maybe also a Russian style spindle or a Fang, a goddess spindle, you know, all that lovely stuff. I really don't know where to find them, where to source the support spindles, like drop spindles, no issue. They'll throw you dead with drop spindles, but support spindles are not as ubiquitous. So, European spindle spinners that know where to find good spindles, the comment section is where you are expected. Please don't mind the general messiness of this background. It's my house. 
I live here. I am a chaos goblin. I will make things messy. Anyway, you can live somewhere else for a little moment. Uh, so I realized, where are you? That I'm a little bit of a dum dum. Of course, you don't. Of course, you're not restricted to the size of the little bobbins for your threads. You can just make a cup above them and just treat the bobbins like regular worlds. Just a little dum dum sometimes. And then there were five. Also, synthetic dyes are vibrant, yo. <laughs> this is wild. I'm not sure if I'm going to include it because this is so vibrant. It might throw me off. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, five skeins for February. So I've literally just come home from work with another serious case of helmet head. I just wanted to say the following. So yesterday I asked on my community page whether I should change the channel name to something more anglicized, like my wooden or something. And you guys came for me. Like you were opinionated. Um, but what I gather from this is Okay, I got it. We'll keep the Flemish, we'll keep the Flemish. And now I'm actually going to greet my husband, get dressed in some more appropriate attire and I will see you later. We're the 21st of February and we're seven skeins strong. Suck it, January. <laughs> I am in particular really proud of this blue uh, coat in this one. You can't see it because lighting in my living room, I want to turn everything yellow. But it's blue, it's blue.
So we are back in the studio. You probably know what that means, right? Yep, yep. It is the 29th of February. So another month of spindle spinning has passed. An extra long month as it is a leap year. Thank you, solar panels, for your contribution. So the 29th of February, I am just going to apply whatever is left on this spindle and then actually end the entire challenge. I think three months has been enough. I'm not very motivated right now to finish the last 10 days of the 100 day spindle spinning challenge. Of the 100 spinning sp Of the 100 days spindle spinning challenge. I believe 90 of 100 is enough, and then it's also not really 90 because I skipped a lot of days. But I am really happy with what I have achieved over these 90 days. We have, if this is finished, 31 skeins. That would make it approximately one skein every three days. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, I hope it's also enough to uh, knit whatever I am planning to knit with it, which is at this point still a secret, of course. There we go, those are the nine skeins of February. Our Ashford's hand carter box is filled to the brim with our mini skeins from this 100 days of spindle spinning challenge. I think that is a great result. Though I must admit that in the December and January vlog I asked you for questions and I might have answered the full amount of four. During the second part of January and mostly during this month of February I actually had a lot of fun being weird in front of the camera without actually answering your questions. So I hope you're content with that as well. This challenge has solidified even more what I had already in mind. Which of my spindles are my favorite? And it's this particular in-hand spindle. And just in general, support spindle. I like that with support spindling, you can just sit in the sofa, have it between your legs while the clasp in hand spindling and the drop spindling is much more comfortable, much better when you do it standing up. But I don't like standing up, I like sitting down. So support spindling is, um, especially now in February, what I have been doing the most. It's also just, I mean, in the evenings, you just want to cozy up in the sofa, right? You don't want to stand up for an hour to spindle, spin your yarn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that sounds very negative, but that, that was it. That was my feeling over this 100 days. Like, it's winter, it's dark, it's cold. You just want to sit in the sofa and then the support spindling is your friend. That's why I also am going to reiterate my question to you European spinners. Where can I find more sports spindles? This box and I will probably see you again very soon when we start knitting. With this absolute amount of chaos. I am excited for this. This is actually the main reason why I am cutting the 100 day spindle spinning challenge short. I just want to start knitting and I think I have enough right now. Those 10 days would give me like one or two skeins more, maybe three if I'm very productive, but I can still spin them if at the end of my project I see, oh, I don't have enough yarn, then I'll, I'll just spin more and add those days to my 
90 or whatever that I have right now. Is that a deal? Can we live with that? Anyway, as said, my yarns and I will see you very soon. And if you like these kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. But of course, that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Now, before we do that, maybe you could check out this playlist, which has some more spinning videos. Bye.